Hi there and welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I sell stuff online, that's how I earn my living. I'm a reseller. I buy secondhand mainly and sell it for profit. And in this video, I'm just gonna talk about, you might be able to see behind me, this massive collection of audio cassettes. Um, here's a good example. One of the better ones. Uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. And I wanted to talk about, is it worth it? Um, I bought the lion's share of these. I've just added them up actually. There's 524 cassettes here. Plus there's this box of blank stuff. Well, not blank, but like recorded stuff like uh, compilations and all sorts of other gubbins in here that somebody has made up themselves. Um, there's about another 100 there. So there's there's around 600 tapes actually. It's more, way more than I thought it was. Now we paid 35 pounds at a boot sale for most of this. I then bought another um, bag of about 50 odd for a fiver at a yard sale. So this whole lot that you can see behind me owes me 40 pounds. But, is it worth doing? Would I recommend buying a massive collection of audio cassettes? At this point in time, I'm really not sure. I'm kind of sick of the sight of them and I enjoy selling media. Media is something I, I really do love to, to pick up and sell. But, all of these here that are stacked up here are really not worth doing. I'm gonna make bundles out of these. But in order to find that out, I've had to look them up. And I spent most of yesterday researching all of these. Like I say, all of this stack here is the good stuff. It's stuff that's worth either selling individually or in little bundles of the same artist or in yeah smaller little lots. Uh, I think the maximum would be about four or five in a go that I'm doing here. Uh, if I sell four, I can still ship them as a large letter because they'll still go flat. So I've tried to limit it size-wise in the bundles. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to talk about was, is it worth your effort? Would I recommend somebody picking up a massive collection of cassettes to sell on eBay? At this point, I don't think I would because it is so, so time consuming. Like I say, I've spent hours researching it already. Now I've got to spend a few hours photographing all of these. And then there's the process of listing. And then I think they're gonna be long tail, as in these are gonna take quite a while to sell. There are some gems in here. You know, there's a number that I might get a tenner on. There's a few I might get 15 on but they are few and far between. The vast majority are, you know, um, five, six pounds maybe, some a bit less, and you start questioning whether it's actually worth the time. Um, I may change my mind. Once these are listed, and if they start selling quickly, I'm in these for, uh, what is that, let's say, just the recorded ones, 524. Um, so if I do 40 pounds investment, divided by 525, did I say? So they owe me seven pence each. So if I can get on the decent ones, a tenner, even a fiver is not bad from seven pence it's not that it's the amount of time i've got to invest to turn this heap of old cassettes into cash that's the big question mark how long is this going to take me to photograph how long is this going to take me to list and then the other big thing is how long are they going to take to sell so ask me the same question in a month i might have a different answer at this point in time I'm not sure I'd bother again, but I might change my mind when they start to sell. 
So anyway, that is the plan. Uh, I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna bundle these up. Uh, I've seen people doing quite well on relatively small bundles, like about 10 to 20 of loosely themed stuff. So I may go through this lot again and, and put them into sort of themed bundles. Um, a lot of this is sort of dodgy compilations from the 70s and 80s that just don't seem to have much value. There's quite a few sort of um, Andrew Lloyd Webber and musicals that I'll bundle up. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. These blank ones, this whole box full here, uh, and home recorded ones, I'm probably gonna do the whole lot. And they should sell. I might get the lion's share of my investment back just on those. Um, we'll see. But for now, the task is, for the next few hours, I'm going to go through this mountain of about 200 odd and take the pictures. And then I've got to list it all. See, this is where I'm at. This is why right now I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because I am now sick of the sight of these. One thing that I quickly wanted to share with you and ask if anyone's ever dealt with something like this before are these. I've got a few, well there's six here, that look like they are from studios, like recording studios. Well these are actually branded as Abbey Road, uh, which is quite exciting in itself. Um, this is Saxon Live. Um, so I'm not sure what these are, whether these were made as demo tapes from recording sessions. I mean, it could be that this is a real rarity, you know. Uh, so that's Saxon. I think I've got another Saxon one. Yep, look, Saxon. Uh, this one says, well, it looks like it's an album's worth. So I'm gonna do some research on that and see if these tracks exist on an album or if maybe that's something special I don't know I don't really know how it works with these cassettes whether this is how the studio engineers would give the bands the days rough takes or something to take away and have a listen to I don't know so there's those two and then and a third Abbey Road one which is Susie DeMarchi now I did google that lady she was a recording artist I believe she was Australian um, and this has on it Young Heart 7 inch and 12 inch. So it looks like maybe there's two versions of a track that they've got on there. So yeah, it seems to me like these are perhaps, as I was saying, your sort of takeaway at the end of a session to take away with you and listen to it at your leisure or take to the record company. I don't know. We've got another one here which is EMI America. Uh, John Waite, These Times Are Hard For Lovers, five versions. So we've got five different versions of the same track on there. I don't know. EMI America Recordings Library Department. So I'm not sure what this one is. And it's got like a little typed label on it there look I don't know there <laughs> I've never dealt in this stuff so I don't know quite what to do with these really uh, and then we've got this one Mayfair Studios Climby Fisher a band I do recognize the name of from the 80s keeping the mystery alive 12 inch edited master so this is quite exciting Can you see that there from 1987. So that definitely has come from this Mayfair Studios and it's the master of a 12 inch version of a track. And again, it's got a little typed label on there on this TDK tape. So that, I don't know, what do you think? Worth lots of money? Rare? Not? That's a really nice thing, I think. Uh, and the last one is Utopia. Um, Utopia Village 
is that a studio? I could do some googling on that. The artist seems to be Zeno on this and I did google Zeno and I did come up with an artist so it might be them. Um, Love Will Live 7 inch mix Tim Palmer. So I don't know. So those are interesting. There was six uh, as I've just shown you. Um, I really think the Saxon ones and potentially that Climby Fisher could be little gems. They could be really quite special depending on whether this the music on them was ever actually released. Um, yeah, could be huge collector's market for those. Don't know. Let me know if you've had any experience with these or you, you have more idea of exactly what these are. Um, yeah, I'll be really interested. So there we go. More research required. Anyway, just a quick one. I hope you found that interesting. Um, let me know below what you think about cassettes, how fast they shift for you, um, whether you're actively looking for them or not. I also think that this is a market that's gonna be a fad. I, I think they are selling now. They're kind of popular. They're kind of on vogue at the moment. They're really trendy. I really think now is the time to do it if you're going to. But bear in mind, it's a lot of hassle for generally quite low returns. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've dabbled in cassettes. Um, yeah, that's a big pile of cassette. That really is. Wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. If you are new to the channel, uh, please think about subscribing. We put out videos all about every aspect of how we earn a living selling this sort of stuff online. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye for now.